What does the word monkey bring to your mind? Is it a chaotic troop of capuchins causing trouble? Or a wise-looking baboon surveying its domain? We almost universally think of monkeys as social butterflies, living in a constant flurry of activity with their friends and family. But what if the social world of monkeys is far more complex, more varied, and more bizarre than you have ever imagined? What if their societies mirror everything from a tight-knit family to a sprawling, ever-changing city? Before we dive into this incredible social web, if you love exploring the amazing world of primates with us, please hit subscribe on our channel, Monkey Low. Tapping that like button and sharing the video helps us bring these incredible animal stories directly to you. Now prepare to have your understanding of monkey society completely transformed. Let's start with the image we all know and love, the massive, bustling troop. Take the rhesus macaque, for example. These monkeys live in large, multi-male, multi-female groups that can number in the hundreds. Life in this big city of monkeys is a whirlwind of social interaction. There is a strict hierarchy, a pecking order where everyone knows their place. Dominant individuals get the best food, the safest sleeping spots, and first choice of mates. It sounds tough, but this structure prevents constant, chaotic fighting. But what is the real benefit of living in such a crowded world? It is all about survival. More eyes and ears mean a predator like a leopard has a much harder time sneaking up on them. When danger is spotted, a chorus of alarm calls erupts, sending everyone scrambling for safety. This cooperative defense is a powerful advantage and it is not just about defense. They also work together to find food, with experienced members leading the group to the best fruit trees. This is the classic monkey society, a model of strength in numbers. Now, hold that image in your mind, because we are about to see how other monkeys have taken a completely different approach to social living. Let's travel to the arid plains of Ethiopia, home of the Hamadria's baboon. These monkeys throw a fascinating twist into the social rulebook, they live in what scientists call a one-male unit, or an omiu. This is not a free-for-all. It is a small group consisting of one large, powerful male, and a harem of several females that are his exclusive mates. Imagine the life of this male. His entire day is dedicated to herding and protecting his females. He is constantly on guard, fending off rival males who would love nothing more than to steal his family. The tension is always there. When a young male is strong enough, he might challenge an established leader, leading to dramatic and sometimes violent confrontations. The winner takes all. This social structure is built on ownership and control, a stark contrast to the more communal life of the macaques. It shows us that there is no single blueprint for a successful monkey society. But what if a monkey society was not about large groups or fierce competition, but about love and devotion. Let's venture deep into the Amazon rainforest to meet the Titi monkeys. These small primates will absolutely melt your heart. They live in a way that looks surprisingly familiar to us. They form a nuclear family. Titi monkeys are monogamous, forming a strong pair bond that can last a lifetime. A family group consists of a mother, a father, and their offspring and they have one of the most endearing displays of affection in the entire animal kingdom. When they sit together on a branch, they intertwine their tails. This behavior, called tail twining, is a visible sign of their strong bond. It is their way of holding hands, and the family dynamic gets even more interesting. The father is the primary caregiver. After a baby is born, the father does most of the carrying, handing the infant over to the mother only for nursing. This heavy paternal investment is incredibly rare among mammals, and it shows a form of social life built on partnership and shared responsibility who knew a monkey family could look so much like ours. So we have seen massive cities, controlling harems, and loving families. It cannot get any more complicated, right? Wrong. Prepare to enter the world of the ultimate social networkers, the spider monkeys of Central and South America. They live in what is called a fission fusion society. This is perhaps the most fluid and complex social structure of all. The main community can be very large, up to 100 individuals, but you will almost never see them all together. 
Instead, this large community fissions or splits into smaller temporary subgroups that change throughout the day. A monkey might spend the morning foraging for fruit with its mother and siblings. Then in the afternoon, it might join a different group of adult males to patrol their territory. They fuse back together at preferred sleeping trees at night. Think of it like your own social life. You have a large circle of friends and family, but you hang out with different small groups on different days for different activities. Why live this way? It is a brilliant strategy for a fruit eater. Fruit trees are valuable but scattered resources. A single tree often cannot support 50 monkeys at once. By splitting into smaller groups, the spider monkeys can efficiently spread out and find enough food for everyone without overwhelming any single food source. It is a dynamic, ever-changing society that requires incredible intelligence and memory to keep track of who is where and what the relationships are. It is a social life on a whole other level. With all this variety, you might be wondering if there is a common thread that holds these different societies together. The answer is communication. Monkeys are master communicators, using a rich and complex language of sounds, signals, and scents. Vocalizations are key. Vervet monkeys, for example, have different alarm calls for different predators. There is one sound for a leopard, another for an eagle, and a third for a snake. Hearing the call instantly tells the other monkeys not just that there is danger, but where to look for it on the ground, in the air, or in the grass. Body language is just as important. A dominant male might yawn to show off his huge canine teeth, a clear warning to any challengers. A subordinate monkey will avert its gaze and make itself look smaller to show respect and avoid conflict. Grooming, or allegrooming, is not just about hygiene, it is a vital social glue. It builds alliances, mends relationships after a fight, and comforts those who are stressed. It is the currency of friendship in the monkey world, scent marking, leaving behind urine or secretions from special glands, acts like a social media post, telling other monkeys who is here, when, and if they are ready to mate. So, are all monkeys social? The answer is an overwhelming yes. But the word social is far too simple to capture the incredible diversity of their lives. From the sprawling, anonymous cities of macaques to the jealously guarded harems of Hamadria's baboons. From the loving, tail-twining families of titi monkeys to the fluid, complex networks of spider monkeys. Each species has evolved a unique social solution, perfectly tailored to its environment and its needs. Their societies are not random. They are intricate systems shaped by millions of years of evolution. The type of food they eat, the predators they face, and the very landscape they inhabit all influence how they live together. Studying these societies does more than just teach us about monkeys. It gives us a window into the evolution of social behavior itself. It helps us understand the fundamental forces that drive animals, including humans, to form groups, to cooperate, to compete, and to communicate. The world of monkey societies is a rich tapestry, and we have only just begun to unravel all of its threads. There is still so much to learn about how these intelligent and adaptable creatures navigate their complex social worlds. Every single species has a unique story to tell, a different way of solving the fundamental problem of living together. And that is a story worth listening to. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the diverse social lives of monkeys, please take a second to like, share, and subscribe to Monkey Low. It is the best way to support us and help us continue bringing you more amazing primate stories. Also, we would love to hear from you. Comment down below and let us know which monkey topic you would like us to investigate for you next. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.